here with a new how should i say new wig it's a fringe i feel like i haven't quite broken into this yet so if you guys know how to deal with fringe um give me some tips and advice that way i can make it um much more cool and flattering on my face because i'm still trying to figure out this wig okay i feel like people who wear fringe um have a special talent for making it look uh, good but um i haven't been on here um vlogging because what's the tea i don't know i've just been basically sleeping lounging watching netflix documentaries catching up on netflix tv shows but i just wanted to come on here and check up on you guys and also let you guys know that i'm doing great but i hope you guys are doing well um as well um so what am i gonna do oh yeah so i've got a project coming up and i want you guys to basically send me videos of whatever it is you're getting up to it could be like you speaking to the camera like i am right now or if you're too shy you can just send me a video of a book that you're reading or you making a cup of coffee or you painting or the sunset or you going on a walk without your face showing just your legs whatever it is send it to me I'm going to stitch it together and um, make a documentary type film and you get featured on my YouTube um, channel. I definitely want you guys to be a part of it because I want to share the stories of people like you who watch my channel. Wherever you are in the world, please send me your videos. I'm going to leave the details in the description box down below as well as a pinned top comment so you guys know. You can literally just send me a video of like your houseplant, something like this. I just need loads of videos. There's no limit to the length of the video. The more the merrier, you can send more than one, you can send two, three, four, five. I am taken all because the more videos I have, the more I can make um, a story out of it. So I'm super excited for it. And I hope you guys will be willing to be a part of this short film documentary. I'm going to stitch it up just to tell one collective story. So please send me your videos. Send it to mosoni at gmail.com with a title film this email down here yeah but the remaining details are in the description box down below so now that we've got that out of the way i said i'm going to use this opportunity to try on some of the new in pieces that i've gotten in my wardrobe so you guys can just see even though i don't get dressed up to go out anymore you guys can just see what's coming to my wardrobe yay okay first off we have this pink linen suit which is from and other stories i got it um I believe in March or early April, but I really love it. It's perfect for spring, summer. It's great. I'm just worn a pink bra underneath just to match it. But um, yeah, you can button it up. It's quite loose, the jacket, but it still works just fine. I love that the pants are high waist. Yay. Quite love this look. But yeah, it's great. This one's one of my favorites in the new one because you guys know I love pink. Ta-da! Let's see what we're working with here. Yeah, linen, great. Perfect for spring, summer. Let me know what you guys think of this look. Next up, we have this blouse. It might seem a tad oversized because on the website, it was displayed as one size fit all, but I went for it because of the sleeves. Um, it's ivory. Oh, look at the details here. It's much better here. Yeah, but... Um, even though it's one size fit all, I don't think it's going to fit my mom, you know. So I, I'm not quite sure about the sizing. I'm going to tuck it in to show you guys what it looks like that way. But it looks a bit oversized, but I think that's the design of it. But I'm not quite sure about this one size fit all. Um, that's the only issue. This is what it looks like um, when tucked in. I prefer this look tucked in. I've paired it with my pink linen trousers. Yeah, it looks great, this whole look. It's just an oversized shirt. I went for it because it's ivory and it's going to match with loads of pieces in my wardrobe. It's going to be easy to mix and match. Um, I discovered this brand on Instagram on the Explore page and I was like, ooh, they're based in Poland. So I checked them out. I bought this blouse and I bought a lovely dress, which I'm going to wear for you guys in a bit. But yeah, this is the look. In or out. I have a feeling most of you will say tucked in. Yeah, this looks better. This is the other dress from the brand that I found on Instagram. The brand is actually called Dolina, like a doll, Dolina. I think I'm pronouncing it weird, I don't know. But I quite love the details again. Look at the button details. Then I step backwards. Can you see it? No. No bueno. Okay, here you can see it. 
it matches with this and same goes for this one yeah my only issue is that i wish that this dress was longer <laughs> but this is the only length they do it in let me know what you guys think about this length but this sage color is so beautiful perfect for spring summer quite like it love the sleeves people really liked it on instagram from what i could tell so yeah this is a look i can get behind or a dress i can get behind let me know what you guys think about this one finally we have this dress from a brand called gala paris their new brand they sent me out this lovely dress which i think is very weather appropriate right now because it's quite hot and come to think of it this hair is not the best for the weather right now so but we'll see we'll see how i get on but um yeah this is the dress quite like it this is what the back looks like i think there's like some gathers behind there but yeah I am going to wear this for today's shoot. I quite like it. And I've not yet shown it on Instagram yet. I think this one's one of my favorites as well. I think, in fact, all of them are my... I love them. If not, why would I be wearing them and showing you guys um, what I've got new in my wardrobe here? Yeah, things I don't like, I don't bother showing. Yay. But anyways, um, that is the end of my vlog. Not much is going on. I hope you guys are keeping well. The deadline to send in your videos to be featured on my channel is on the 30th of may so bear that in mind i look forward to receiving your videos in my inbox so far some people have sent them in and i actually love them it's quite hilarious it's funny um some are just everyday normal stuff which is quite good so thank you for watching as always i will see you guys um next time and hopefully it'll be the um film that you guys have um helped me produce by sending in your videos until then take care love you all bye Hello and welcome to another episode of Only Talk on my stories. I was in the middle of filming a YouTube video and I said, let me come on here and chat to you guys. I know it's not something I do very often because I'm one of those people that feel like when I open my mouth, I want to say something impactful, which is why I don't do this very often. So here I am with a message to tell you not to be afraid to go after the things you want out of life or after your dreams, however big or small they might be. Um... I know it can be scary at times and one of the guys that I listen to who's a great motivational speaker, I love him so much, his name is Les Brown. If you haven't heard of him, check him out, Les Brown, spelled L-E-S Brown. Um, he says, you will fail your way to success and I couldn't agree more. Um, since I started my self-employed um, business as a blogger and photographer, I can tell you how many times I have failed. I can tell you how many times the door has been slammed in my face, how many times I've gotten a no or nothing but that hasn't stopped me but each step of the way when i fail it has always been a learning experience for me and i wouldn't trade it for anything else sometimes i've been broken to the point where i will cry but i learn from it i learn from it and i move on and it's just a phase life is full of ups and downs but when you're down the next place is up so don't worry about it you will fail your way to success but also don't worry about what people are going to think of you because most of the time people will judge you either way people judge you on the way you look and your features things that you can't even control not everyone's gonna like you heck i don't think everyone liked mother Teresa, even though she did a great job of caring for others selflessly so you shouldn't be worried about other people's opinions about you especially when those people People are actually humans like you they're your equals so the opinion of you should not matter so I wouldn't worry about it just stick with your goal keep your eyes on the prize and you will fail which is fine but something Les Brown also says is if you fall down make sure you land on your back because if you can look up then you can get up so we don't want you losing the motivation when you fail that's not what I want for you so that is my pep talk for you. Do not be afraid to fail um, because failure is an opportunity for you to grow. And if you're growing, chances are you will better yourself and you're much more likely to achieve your goal based on the experiences you've already had. So that is me with my mini pep talk on here. I hope you guys have totally enjoyed it. If you're finding it hard to feel motivated, I'm going to save the story in my only talk story highlight and on my profile so you guys can check it out or dm me people who 
DM me, you will know that I tend to respond to my DMs. And I will send you some motivational stuff. I will give you words of encouragement that will make sure that you keep right on track with your goals. So that's me on here. I'm going to leave you guys here and hopefully you have a great day. Bye.